I thought I would never have to make this video, but I guess some people need some tips on this topic. How to quickly and effectively find the ghost type. I think I have mentioned this in my earlier videos that I use elimination method a lot when it comes to evidence narrowing, but I believe some people have troubling understanding what it really means. So I shall teach that first. Well in this game, you have a ghost type, and that type can be found using three evidences, but sometimes due to the map being too big, time already being wasted or even the evidence being too difficult, you can actually eliminate it. For example, in Orphanage or School map, you don't have to look for fingerprints as there are literally a lot of doors compared to the small maps. What you can do is strike off other evidences, and if fingerprints is at the last then by default, you take that ghost type. Also now the new evidence page makes this process 100 times more easier. You can clearly see, if you strike off an evidence that ghost type goes away making this process very efficient. In the future, you can also observe the ghost behaviors and guess the ghost type. The elimination method is an integral part in finding the ghost type efficiently and quickly, and for me, this method has served wonderfully, and I find no method better than this, well except for hacking, but I don't do it. But you need to find the ghost room before using the elimination method, that is where the split method comes in. The split method speaks for itself where you split your team members in different directions to find the ghost room way quicker. Suppose you are playing in an orphanage and you send two people to the left and two people to the right, the chances of your team finding the ghost room is statistically way better. Some people are scared in this game, so let me remind you that this is just a game. That too a Roblox game. It cannot hurt you in real life. Being a good teammate means going in the ghost room and finding evidences efficiently without being scared. Make a plan on who will go which side or which area before going inside the map, as it will help you in the long run. If you are finding difficulty in finding an evidence then just simply keep it aside for the last, don't stress over it. Sometimes the evidences like spirit box or orbs, may take some time to appear so have patience. I have heard many people saying that memorizing the ghost evidences would be useful, but I believe that's nonsense. You don't have to remember anything and can still play better than average. In the end, just have fun with your friends and don't die. Thank you everyone for watching this video, if you have any questions, then do let me know in the comments section below. As always I will see you guys next time.